Hello friends, welcome to GovernmentJobsPreparation.com. My name is Preeti and today I want to teach you few groups that are within 5 seconds. Alright, first of all, what you need to do is learn few groups from 1 to 10 so that it would become very easy for you to solve such questions. Right, let's start with the A part. As we have to get the cube roots, so we start with the last three digits, right? We take, we first we take the last three digits of this number and now we can see, in this series we can see we have every number. We have zero at the end and when we find we have one at the end, we have two at the end, we have three, we have four. We have 5, we have 6, we have 7, we have 8 and we have 9. We have every number at the end of the series. This is the reason we can find easily. This is the square root of which number, right? Now, we were well. So, we took the last three digit. Now, find here. This is 3. Find here. Where is 3? This is here, 3 here, and this number 3 comes in the cube root of 7. So we put 7 here, right? This is the first step. Take this number, this is 3. Where is 3? 3 is here. Put 7 over here because seven, 3, 4, 3 is the cube root of 7. This is the first step. Now, second step is the last three numbers. The last, last three numbers is 103. Now, check 103, 103 comes between which numbers? 103 comes between these two numbers, right? 103 comes between these two numbers. So, always take the smallest number, that is 4. And this is an answer. When you multiply 47 3 times, you will get this. You must have calculator and your phone on your study table. You can check it out right now. Fine. Now come to the next question. Now take the last three digit. At the end, we can see 6 is written. Now find where is 6? Six? 6 is here. Fine. So put this 6 here and now we have 175 in next pair. Now check 175 comes between, between these two numbers, right? So we always take the smallest number that is 5. So when you multiply 56 3 times, you will get this answer, right? Again we have the same number. Now again we have 6 at the end. 6 comes in the cube root of 6. Now 884 comes between, you can see 884 comes between these two numbers. So we take the smallest one that is 9. So answer is 96. Well, when you multiply 96 3 times, you will get this answer. Likewise, we have this number. Now, here is 1 at the end. Now, where is 1? Where is 1? 1 is here. 1 is the cube root of 1. Right? 5, 3, 1. Now, 5, 3, 1 comes between uh -oh. here. 5, 3, 1 comes between these two numbers. So, smallest number is the answer that is 81. 3 times 81, when you do, you will get this answer. Right? Now, last is 937. 7 comes here. This is the cube root of 3. And 35. 35 comes between these two numbers. The smallest number is the answer that is 3. So when you multiply these 
this number three times, 33 into 33 into 33, you will get 35937 as an answer. It tells the, it was the cube rule, and I think you can solve these questions less than five seconds. If you learn all these cube rules, you will do good. Solve these questions within two seconds. All right. So keep learning, keep watching all the videos. I'll be teaching you square roots in my next video. Thank you for watching.